Five young men pulled up to this intersection in Dinkytown early Wednesday morning on their way to Ramadan prayers when they were confronted by a man with a handgun. The shooter was on foot and the shooter asked them to get out of the car. The two that got out of the car then start firing at them. Uh, and then that's when the ones who were outside the car ran and then the ones in the car used the car to, to get away. Two of the men, including Metro State student Hussein Gully, are recovering from bullet wounds to the leg. The passenger in the car said, uh, what are you talking about? And he pretty much just pulled out his gun and started shooting. And obviously what triggered uh, those comments and, 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 uh, and the violence is uh, their, their outward appearance. The victims say the gunman asked, what would you do if I said F-word Muslims? And then, well, I am saying that. He came around to my area of the car, the back seat. He shot some shots and he hit us a couple of times. The whole family, their family, and the Muslim community and the faith leaders, everybody traumatized and we are actually in a state of shock. The head of the Council on Islamic Relations in Minnesota thanked the Minneapolis police for treating this as a hate crime. They did not uh, antagonize. This was literally a clear uh, uh, profiling of them, harassing them, and shooting at them. Hussein Goli and the other victim were both out of the hospital tonight, recovering at home. Hussein told me he was born here in America, has lived here his whole life, never expected anything like this. The Minneapolis police are asking for your help catching the shooter, and we'll have those tip line numbers on our web story on care11.com. Julie. All right. Thank you, John. Minneapolis police today confirmed they are investigating the recent shooting of two Muslim men as a possible hate crime. And today, the Council on American Islamic Relations is demanding swift action to find those responsible. Police went to 14th Avenue Southeast and 6th Street South early Wednesday morning because someone heard shots. There were no victims, but police did recover some evidence. A short time later, two people with gunshot wounds showed up at the U of M hospital. Bill Hudson explains what led to the shooting. Five young Somali-American men say they just finished a game of basketball. They were dressed in traditional robes and headed to a mosque for early morning prayer. That suddenly changed near the corner of 14th Avenue Southeast and 6th Street. The Minnesota Muslim community uh, is really shocked, horrified of the incident that took place yesterday morning. They're alleging that two white males made derogatory anti-Muslim comments. One walked up to their car and displayed a pistol saying he had a permit to carry. As the five then drove away, the attacker allegedly opened fire, striking two of the passengers. He made it pretty clear that it, it wasn't a case of a misunderstanding or it wasn't one of those situations where um, somebody felt threatened. Uh, it was an obvious attempt uh, on their lives. Today, the Council on American Islamic Relations called on police and the FBI to investigate the shooting they now believe was motivated by hate. We're asking all Americans, Americans to stand with us, all Minnesotans to stand with us as a Muslim community and to tackle and stop this hate crime. It's a hate crime. Late today, police confirmed they're looking into bias as a possible motivation for the shooting, but have so far identified no suspects and are asking for the public's help. Now we can tell you that two of those men who were struck by that gunfire were treated and released. They are doing well. Now we tracked down some interesting statistics today. It actually shows that the number of bias motivated crimes is down significantly statewide, about 40 percent, with the exception of uh, crimes against Muslims. That is actually increasing. Also, the FBI tells me they are monitoring the situation and will get involved if the Minneapolis police investigation leads in that direction. Amelia? All right, Bill. Thank you.